Hello and welcome to Downloadable. I am your host, Neil Taylor, and this time on the show, we are taking a look at Containment, the zombie puzzler. Are you a little bit tired of the normal zombie games? Well, have I got a game for you this time round. Now, like most people, I have got a little bit fed up with the typical zombie games, because let's face it, zombies have been everywhere for the past few years. Well, Bootsnake Games, who I think are about a three-man team, uh, have this for you. This is currently uh, on sale on Steam. Uh, normal price is around 2 99 The sale price is £1.19. I saw this and thought, eh, why not? So what is Containment the Zombie Puzzler? Well, I shall show you once we get there. And how nice it thanks you for playing. Like the title suggests, this is a puzzle game. Now, this isn't a match three type of puzzle game, no. The idea here is to surround the zombies to take them out. Now, it's a simple colour match game, yes, but uh, it gets a little interesting and can go awry really quickly. All right, so he wants me to surround the generators. So imagine that was a zombie. If I find one more pink person. Right. We'll get some army dudes over here. As you saw, I'm a little bit of a way into it. This does have a story mode, and it tells the story in an interesting way with these little, little pop-ups here. Which is quite nice and this is going to be a really short round by the way you weren't seeing things folks they was a wizard yes these zombie wizards don't ask I don't know <laughs> it's not Tommy it's just apparently they are some and they're bastards but it seems to be telling the story of survivors trying to escape this city and it is quite interesting See there, combo, you will get cascades as well. Also, it gives you power-ups. I'm all for the power-ups. Especially when they allow you to shoot someone in the head. Now here you can see with the It goes horribly wrong. Yes, they will do that from time to time. They will attack you. You can lose people being zombies. Or you can drop a television on them. Either way, it makes me happy. Oh. Right. So like all puzzle games, the idea is to clear the, the board of zombies, which isn't always as easy as it seems, especially when they start doing that. And I don't want to say that the game can be unfair, but sometimes it does feel unfair, I will give you that. I mean, sometimes you can just end up with so many zombies on the screen that it's almost impossible, well it is impossible to clear them all with the characters you have you can't call in anymore, you have to either make do or you kind of have to wait for your turn to end. Now that can be a little bit problematic, I will grant you. Uh, it doesn't seem to happen too often, but when it does, it is annoying. I won't lie, it is very annoying when it does that. I'm trying to keep track of where all these zombies are. So many zombies, so little time. More headshots. Yes, give me more headshots. It actually is. I like the fact that there's a variety in the zombies here. We just see the basic ones, but you saw wizard ones earlier. You, you got mutated ones with the purple eyes. Ah, grenades. Blowing stuff up is fun. So, like I said, it's not a match three style of um, puzzle, it's more of a surround the zombies. To shoot them style, which I quite like. Apparently this game's got branching paths and you can go off in di different directions. I don't know if you can dictate that or not. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this. What the? That's a giant zombie monkey. Why is there a giant zombie monkey? This is new. I assume this is a boss battle. The game does say it has boss battles. This is the first one I've come across. So I'm just trying to surround the monkey with police officers. Uh, he didn't feel that. Oh, you're going to be a sodden. Ah, this is going to be annoying. Oh, boy. See what I mean now? I suddenly find myself lacking... I don't think I have enough characters to attack. 
And they don't have any power-ups, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, okay, so evidently it wasn't the greens I needed to go with. I needed to go with the street punks. On the whole, this is a really good game. The sound effects are, are pretty nice. And again, like I was saying earlier, sometimes <laughs> it's decided to come and prove my point here. I have no more moves left to me. I have no power-ups. I have nothing available to me. I am pretty much buggered now. I am buggered. Unless maybe it's pink. Can we do it with pink? Probably not if he's just taken one out. I do like this game. I have spent a lot of time playing this game. And failed. See, this is what I mean about sometimes it just... It just seems to cheat you. It just doesn't seem to give you enough characters. And once that happens, you're kind of bolstered. But on the whole, because this isn't a, a, a simple match three, you know, you you have the fact that you have to take these zombies out fairly sharpish, otherwise they will turn your pieces into zombies. I do like that. You know, there's the sort of real-time turn-based cracking off to it. The fact that you've got the, the bonus weapons, which I'm really great at using right now. Also, sometimes you will have environmental hazards as well, which I do like. You know, you can drop signs on them, blow up barbecues. That I like. Some really good thought been put into that. And it's a nice looking game. <clears throat> it just wants to cheat you sometimes. Years on the force. None of this. And they do have one or two little quips that the characters will come out with. And some of them are funny, get a little repetitive after a while, but. Whoa. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, the lines might get a little bit tired and repetitive after a while, but on the whole, it's not bad. Ah, Cassie. Weapons! Weapons, good, give me weapons! I don't think you like that. Good. You can bugger off. Kill the zombies! Kill the zombies! One zombie left. So if you are looking for a puzzle game with something uh, with a little bit of a twist, and hey, zombie twist, why not? I don't think I've seen a zombie puzzle game before. It's a little bit change up in the genre of, yeah, let's stick zombies in it, so I can't complain there. Looks nice, plays well has a tendency to cheap shot you a little as you saw earlier but aside from that I really like this I have spent a good amount of chunk of time playing this so I do recommend this game I really do so like I said this is available on Steam for $2.99 in the sale at the minute the indie game sale it is £1.19 that kind of price you're not really going wrong alright I have been your host Neil Taylor thank you for watching Downloadable and we will be back next time